In today's era of a lot of exercises, there is one particular exercise that has stood out, the farmer's walks. Some movements that were only done by hardcore strength athletes are now making their way into the fitness routines of a typical gym goers seeking to improve their health a lot. The farmer's walk is an exercise wherein heavy equipment held in each hand is carried for a distance. In this video, we will be talking all about the farmer's walk. Whether as part of a full body workout or standalone exercise, this exercise is the best way to build strength, stability, and resilience throughout the body in just a few months or weeks, depending on the effort you put in. By carrying heavy weights in each hand and walking for a distance or time, your grip strength improves, your muscular endurance increase by far, and you're used to gaining functional strength for everyday activities. No need for delving deep into its benefit. We got a video that will help you on that. Link is above and at the end of the video, so you can do well to watch it. In this video, we are going to be answering the most commonly asked questions about farmer's walk. You are going to find out how long you can do the farmer's walk to reap its benefit, what equipments to hold and walk that's best for you, how to do the exercise properly for you to reap all its benefits. Not only this mention, but a lot more. Stay tuned. Watch the video to the very end and become a pro of the profound farmer's walk. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And let us know in the comment section if you do the farmer's walk and how long. 1. What equipment do I need for farmer's walks? All you need is our weights, but the question is, what type of weights? You might think is any type, but no. Barbells, for instance, are usually not meant for farmer's walks because they need two hands to grasp the bar, which restricts the arm's natural swinging action and may result in imbalances. Similar to this, large or irregularly shaped items like medicine balls, sandbags, or strangely shaped weights can be difficult to hold firmly and can cause improper form. So the weight you need to carry is actually very important. So to do the farmer's walk what equipment is appropriate? All, you'll need a pair of heavy weights of equal size and weight, emphasis on the equal. This could be typically dumbbells, kettlebells, or specialized farmer's walk handles. The weights should be heavy enough to challenge your strength, but manageable enough to maintain a good form and control throughout the exercise. Make sure the weights are comfortable to grip and won't slip off your hands. If you're using dumbbells or kettlebells, ensure that they have a secure grip surface to prevent accidents. Optional accessories like weightlifting gloves or chalk may also be used to improve grip and comfort, especially if you're lifting heavier weights. 2. How do I perform a farmer's walk? To do a farmer's walk, start by selecting two heavy weights. As explained, you should know which to use. Stand tall with a neutral spine, engaging your core muscles. Grip the weights firmly with your arms hanging straight down by your sides. Maintain a relaxed but strong grip on the weights throughout the exercise. Take short, quick steps forward, keeping your shoulders pulled back and down and your chest lifted. Walk for a predetermined distance or time, maintaining proper form and posture. Avoid leaning forward or sideways, and focus on stability and control as you move. Once you've completed the distance or time you wanted, keep the weights down safely by bending your knees and lowering them to the ground. Rest briefly before repeating the exercise for additional sets. 3. How heavy should the weights be for farmer's walks? The best weight when you do the farmer's walks all depends on your strength, fitness level, and training goals. Not everyone can carry a heavy-sized dumbbell. Just make sure, the weights should be heavy enough to give you a challenge but light enough to allow you to have a proper form and control throughout the exercise. A good starting point is to choose weights that you can comfortably lift for a particular distance or time while still feeling a high level of resistance. You should be able to walk with the weights for the intended duration which you put without loosing your posture or grip. As you become stronger and more good, keep changing the weight to continue challenging your muscles and progressing in your training. The benefits gained from farmer's walk is enormous, so it'd be a great exercise for you. Just listen to your body and adjust the weight accordingly for your safety during the routine. 4. How often should I do farmer's walks? There are two ways that you can count farmer's carries, for time or for reps. If you go by time, use a stopwatch to time how long you carry the weights for in total. If you go by reps, each time you cross the room or however much space you have is one rep, with 30 to 50 feet being a good amount of distance. For most people, they do the farmer's walks one to three times per week which is actually effective. If you are a beginner you could start with once or twice a week to allow your muscles time to adapt and recover, but for the more experienced ones they can reap their benefit if it's added to their normal training regime. This is because their body is able to sustain the pressure. If your muscles get soreness, or you're feeling fatigue, this means that you need more rest time between sessions. So watch out for this. But, if you feel ready to challenge yourself further, you can increase the frequency of farmer's walks. Experiment with different frequencies to find the right balance that works best for you and supports your overall fitness goals. 
5. Are there variations of the farmer's walk? Yes, there are many kinds of the farmer's walk varieties that may focus on different muscle areas and bring diversity to your workout. The suitcase carry is one variant where you walk with a single weight in one hand, focusing on asymmetrical strengthening of the obliques and core muscles. Another version is the overhead carry, in which you hold the weights overhead while walking. This tests your shoulder balance and strength of your upper body. Also, the rack carry, you hold the weights at shoulder height with elbows bent, works the upper back and shoulder muscles. Workouts allow you to address specific deficiencies or goals in your strength training. So, you can perform farmer's walks on uneven terrain or start directional changes to further challenge your stability and coordination. These variations are actually very important because you add diversity to your workouts and it allows you to address specific weaknesses or goals within your strength training. 6. What are some common mistakes made? Some common mistakes are using weights that are too heavy. It has already been mentioned several times in the video. This shows how dangerous it is. It leads to your muscle being imbalanced and even get you wounded. Another mistake is allowing your shoulders to slump forward or the back to arch excessively. This could strain your spine, and which is not good at all. Also, this may not be noticed, but a lot of people do it. They take uneven steps or allow the weights to swing too much. Now lastly, neglecting to engage the core muscles throughout the exercise or rushing through the movement without focusing on your form is one way you could also diminish the benefits of the farmer's walk. Make sure not to grip the weights too tightly or not tightly enough. Carry equal weight, carry what you can carry, and you are good to go. 7. What muscles do farmer's walks work? I have already mentioned a lot how the farmer's walk is a full body workout, meaning it affects almost all the muscles in your body. This is true, but we know some muscles get more benefits compared to the other. That is what we are trying to find out. When you pick up your barbell on both hands, the weight is on your shoulders. It heavily engages the muscles of the upper body. This is your shoulders, traps, and upper back, as they all work to stabilize the weights. Your forearm muscles, mainly your grip, is intensely activated throughout the exercise, because we know, you wouldn't be able to lift those weight for a long time if you have a loose grip. All this contributing to improved grip strength and endurance. As mentioned, it's a full body workout. Which other muscles are engaged? We have talked about of the upper body, which is the major part which is engaged. Now the lower body. The lower body muscles, that's your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes, also play an important role in providing support and propulsion during each step of the walk. In all, the farmer's walk is a comprehensive strength-building exercise that targets both major and stabilizing muscle groups throughout the body. A very great exercise. That you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more.